Yo, what up everyone? Amir Rahim here on a Rabbit and Snacking, getting into another Collector's Corner video. If y'all haven't already, hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rabbit and Snacking. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. I think uh, I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers, so appreciate y'all. Hope to, to bump those numbers up, keep drop more videos and all that stuff, but appreciate y'all who've been rocking with me for as little or as long as you have. First off, going to start off with something that I picked up from Amoeba. Uh, not something, a few things that I picked up from Amoeba. So Amoeba is actually my favorite record store uh, that I've that I've been to. Uh, I've been to quite a few, but Amoeba is definitely my favorite one. That would be the Amoeba in Hollywood. <clears throat> also, this is my first time going to Amoeba. So, um, or I should say my first time going to the relocation of Amoeba. So uh, I'd been to the original location in Hollywood tons of times. I'd spent like thousands and thousands of dollars there. I've been going there since I was in the 10th grade. Uh, it was one of the first record stores that I'd been to. Um, and yeah, this location was the first time I went to because I didn't really want to go during COVID and all that stuff uh, when it was just super crazy. And there were also lines uh, out the door and they were limiting how many people came in. Now it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to get inside and whatever. But anyways, still close to the other location. But I went... Um, I went on March 29th. I have the receipt right here. That's how I'm going to give the exact uh, price points. But I went on March 29th. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into some of these things that I got here. First off, this is the only one that I purposely didn't keep the sticker on because it was in some other shrink. But this is Two Shorts Freaky Tales, The Untold Story Part 1, which has Freaky Tales, the extended remix, bonus bass mix, the short remix, and the dub mix. Freaky Tales being one of the best songs of Two Shorts catalog, and um, that's saying some because catalog is incredible. But this one was seventeen ninety nine, actually a pretty good price. You may think that's a lot of money for a single, but check it out online. This is extremely clean copy, still in open shrink. Uh, the labels intact, the grooves all look good. Got the Playboy Bunny on it too. Yeah, man, this is just an excellent, excellent song. Classic material, seventeen ninety nine. You probably can't see here, but at the bottom says, bitch, boom. This is a pre-jive. This is all dangerous music, so this is stupid hard. Love that song. Too short right there. Boom, boom. Picked that one up, $17.99. This one is Terminator X. Got this for $3.99. Wannabe Dancing and Buck Wallen. And a vinyl single right here. Boom, boom. Shout out to Terminator X. For those who don't know, uh, once was part of Public Enemy. Next song, we got someone who's part of Hieroglyphics. I actually haven't heard uh, this song yet. I actually haven't heard this album yet, I should say. Um, but the song called Fight Club right here, Pep Love from Hieroglyphics, really dope, underrated group in my opinion, from Northern California. Also has the B-side on it, The Grind. This was $2.99, got from Amoeba. Boom, boom. Definitely awesome to like go through the crates at, uh, of Amoeba again. You know, The hip-hop section, I'd say... Got slightly smaller, not too much smaller. Um, the store in general did get smaller from the other location, but still awesome store. Next up, we got Funk Dubious, Oi Poppy. This actually, I haven't heard this song yet, and it's got natural fun on it as well. Haven't heard this song yet. I just picked it up, three ninety nine. Uh, also, whenever I see Funk Dubious, I think of my homie AD Uno because he's always talking about them. So shout out to him. Pick this one up. Boom, boom. Next up, now this is such a great album. This is possibly, most likely, my favorite Cypress Hill, al Cypress Hill album, and that would be Temples of Boom. However, this is not the picture cover. This is the edited, clean, double vinyl album, the DJ only pressing, white uh, vinyl, generic sleeve, or not white vinyl, sorry, white jacket. Um, got the sticker right here, the hype sticker. $9.99, great price. And look, it comes with two records. Got one right there. And then you got another one right here. And it is a gatefold. Nothing to show in the gatefold. Oh, get out of your little dust. Uh, nothing to show in the gatefold or the back. But it's a gatefold nonetheless. Pretty interesting. But $9.99. Also pretty cool. Uh, I hadn't seen this one in person before, but Cypress Hill's third album is probably my favorite Cypress Hill album. It's really, really, really good. Next up, we got this track, I'll Whip Your Head Boy, uh, with M.O.P. 50 Cent Young Buck. Uh, 
if I recall, this is from the Get Richard Dying soundtrack, but I'm kind of drawing a blank right here. Maybe it even says on here, music from and inspired by Get Richard Dying Trying soundtrack. So I was right. But boom, pick this one up for $1.99. Just a generic single. Got the hype sticker right there. Um, boom, boom. So also, I still got more stuff from Amoeba. Uh, and just so you all know, what I got from Amoeba, everything in total was... $210.44. So those are the vinyl um, copies that I got. Now get into some CDs. First CD I picked up from Amoeba is Third Bases, Pop Goes the Weasel. This CD single right here, $4.99. Um, pretty cool. Third Base, underrated. Got them right here. Boom, boom. Also has the Derelict of Dialect on here as well. The track and remix. Dope stuff. I had to pick that one up, $4.99. Next up, this is something that I'd never seen before. I was really debating buying it because of the price tag on it. It was $14.99, but No Limit stuff usually gets taxed at times because a lot of it's out of print. But this being like a CD single that I'd never seen, had to pick it up. Also, I hadn't really seen anyone ever post about it too. Uh, I know some people definitely have it, especially my guy, old Jimmy D. But this one has Converse B-Ball on it, You Ain't a Baller. Um and love this game. And it also has Converse B-Ball on here again. It might just be the instrumental, uh, although it doesn't say instrumental on it. But boom, you got just uh, P right here with some kicks on the cover. They always had some some abstract things. You got the CD with someone shooting, you know, basketball, probably Master P. But for those who don't, for those who don't know, Master P was in the NBA for a short period of time. He is a legit baller. So that was $14.98. Next up, we got Missy Elliott and her track, Takeaway. $2.99 right here. This is a J card. So this is not your standard jewel case. This is the J card, um, jewel case or J card type of casing. And it also has One Minute Man, love that song, and Get Your Freak On, which is a really popular song. Also incredible track. Boom, shout out to Missy. This is something that I actually had been wanting to buy, but I just never had it and i also didn't really want to buy it but sometimes you'll pop buy things that are a little more expensive just because of the convenience factor how often will i see it will i even buy it online if i see it online i don't want to pay shipping things like that this is quentin's track quentin's here or i should say quentin's cd single quentin's here or maybe you want to call an ep because it's got the quentin's on the way jazzy skit still fiending quentin's here i'm not an mc and then Il Fiend. And for those who don't know, this is Quentin who's on uh, that Far Side album, Bizarre Ride to the Far Side, where he, he even has his own skit saying Quentin's on the way, and then that skit. So this one, I actually haven't heard this. I'd actually wanted to listen to this online, but I didn't want to cheat. I just wanted to get the physical copy, and I found it. $14.99. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna definitely peep that one out. I'm not expecting a ton, um, but we'll see. Next up, we got Saphir's Watch How Daddy Ball featuring Cam. Saphir, underrated MC. Make sure to check him out. This was $2.99 CD single. Next up is a project that I actually still haven't heard yet. This is my first physical copy of it, and this is Analog Brothers Pimp to Eat. Excited to peep this one out. Just haven't peeped it out yet. $6.99 right here. Next up, this is actually the new Cypress Hill album. Haven't listened to this yet. Still sealed. $13.98. Bought this one new. Um, and yeah, for new albums, I always try and buy things like brand new, support the artists, uh, the label, whatever, if I can do to keep physicals alive for the new releases. So this is Back in Black. This is Cypress's album with Black Milk, not Mug. So that's interesting. Haven't listened to it yet, obviously. So we'll see what I think. That was $13.98. Then we got the Earl Sweatshirt album right here, Sick, which I also haven't opened yet, but it is brand new. $14.98 right there. I hope I like it because I haven't liked some of Earl's latest music. Next up, we got Feedback by Jurassic 5. This is the sampler for it. Haven't seen the sampler in person. Made sure to pick it up. $3.99. Let's see if anything's different. I'll have to go ahead and peep it out, but it's probably um, the same stuff just from the album. Next up, we got The Mafia 6's Six Commandments. Have not heard this one yet. Happy I got the physical for it, $14.99, used, boom, boom. As you all know, I'm on that 3-6 Mafia adventure. It's not um, all the 3-6 members. However, boom, right there. Juicy's not in the group in that one. 
This one pissed me off, actually. So this is the Nego album. I know Nego. And, you know, you would think that the physical would have all the tracks on it. Instead, when I put this, so I had to open this because I want to listen to it. The CD doesn't have all the songs, but there's more songs on the digital version. But it's not like, you know, one bone track, two bone tracks. There's like three, four, five, six more tracks on like this digital copy. And then there's like, there might be a couple digital copies. I should have checked this for this video, but I'm just freestyling this. And I was so mad that I still didn't import this one. Cause I'm like, I just bought the physical. I don't want to buy these extra like digital only version tracks. Screw that. I'm just going to find a way to download them. Sorry, not sorry, man. That just pisses me off. You know, I went and bought the, the hard copy and then they do this Fugazi stuff with the digital stuff. No, thank you. I'll find a way to download those for sure. Or if someone in the comment section has them, send them to me. Don't send me a virus. I bought this. I don't remember. Uh, $12.98, it says on the receipt. Next up, we got Rock Marciano's Mount Marcy. Uh, haven't actually listened to this one yet. Haven't listened to it yet. Finally got the physical. This one was actually used. It was the only one they had. Otherwise, I would have bought it new since it's a fairly new release. $9.99. And then last up from Amoeba, still got more stuff coming after this. Last up from Amoeba is Showbiz and AG's Goodfellas album. Excited to finally get the CD version. This was 25. This is my most expensive uh, purchase from Amoeba at $25 right here. Shout out to Showbiz and AG. Excited to import this one. Heard um, a lot of stuff on this album, but excited to actually finally hear the thing in full. Because this is actually my first purchase of the album. So that might shock some of y'all. But as you know, I try to only listen to things if I own them. $25 right here. Total for my Amoeba was $210.44. Let me get this stuff off so I can get into some more. All right, I'm back. Got this stuff off the table. And one last thing. When I was looking at this Amoeba receipt, I'm like, I just saw at the bottom that they charged me $0.10 cents for the bag. It's like... I get, you know, the plastic stuff, but bro, I literally just bought $210 worth of stuff from your store. You'd think you'd give me a 10 cent bag for free and not charge me for it. I just think that's just like ridiculous. But anyways, that's a little uh, side note there. Maybe you can call me a baby or cheap or whatever you want to call me, but hey man, it's, it's the principle, I guess. Next up, we got a couple of eBay purchases. This first one is an album that I really, really, really recommend anyone who hasn't heard it. Uh, it's Twist's Adrenaline Rush. Picked this up from eBay. Honestly, I probably slightly overpaid for it. Um, we'll see in due time because I do think the prices on this album will go up for the cassette tapes. So I paid $35 shipped for this. Great condition, but a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic album by Twista. Really great. If you haven't listened to it, please, please listen to it after this video or the next day or something. Listen to it in full. It's really special. Excellent stuff. Twista is just spazzing on it, and the features are great. Really dope stuff. Next up, we got Bone Enterprises Faces of Death. This is $30 shipped. This is the red tape pressing. Um, I should say the red shell pressing because there's another one with some red in it as well. But um, So this is not the original first pressing of this tape. So $30 shipped. Bone Thugs, when they were named Bone Enterprise, the first release. You'll hear, if you listen to this, you'll hear how some songs they remix later, they uh, reproduce later, they drop later, whatever you want, you know, on different uh, albums and whatnot. But this is definitely a cool intro to hear them. Uh, it's definitely not their best, <laughs> nowhere near that. But it's still cool to get, like, some history to see how they started and, and how they've evolved and all that stuff. Definitely peek that if you haven't. It's very an interesting release. Next up, we got some random thing from eBay. As you all know, Death Certificate is my favorite album of all time. Any time I see something for it, I'll probably buy it, even if it's something unofficial. This was unofficial. This is just like um, a couple-inch like mock vinyl record. You see how small it is? Pause. But, you know, they put like... Eh. They put this little fake vinyl in here that doesn't even have artwork on it. It's just like a vinyl record with a with a red um, label. But I'm like, all right, I'll buy it. It was $6 shipped, you know, just like a little another knickknack uh, to add to my collection for death certificates. So boom, just picked it up, $6 shipped eBay, whatever. Next up, this is actually something that I just did in unbox, well, not an unboxing, 
I just did a product showcase for, showed it up close, gave a little bit of history for it, whatever, for Notorious B.I.G.'s limited edition MTA subway card right here. Uh, really cool stuff, so I linked it up to give you some more about it. But boom, there's a little quick glimpse of it. Boom, there you go. Uh, really cool. Someone actually just shipped it to me out of love on Instagram, uh, No Fun Fontaine. He actually um, charged me $10 for it just, you know, for hassle and shipping and all that. So I appreciate it because these things are going on eBay. I don't know the average. I've seen people attempt to sell them for over $100. I've seen some people attempt to sell them for over $1,000. They're never going to get that. But I've seen some sell for, you know, in the 50s to 100s range. So cool stuff. Appreciate you, man, because I don't live in New York. They're only in New York. So big, big, big shout out. Next up, I actually got this Benny the Butcher box set or lunch box set, I should say. Did an unboxing for this one too, so I'll link that one up. You know, I got to do some self-promo. I got to do that. Shop get on down. Blessing with this one. Comes with the CD with the bonus track, Survivor's Remorse. Comes with the instrumentals. Comes with a little towel in here. I'm not going to open it because I just want you to click that link up there, so I appreciate y'all. But pretty cool box set. Shop get on down. One of my favorite companies. They're just always killing it, and they're great people, and I do giveaways with them constantly. So hit me up on Instagram to enter those giveaways at Rappin' and Snackin'. Maybe up on TikTok too, Rappin' and Snackin'. Appreciate y'all as always. Ask questions, drop your favorite stuff below. Click an ad, gets you money, costs you nothing. I'll talk to y'all next time. I'm out of here. Bless.